Yirmiyahu Jeremiah 37, and King Sidik Yahu, the son of Yoshiyahu, reigned instead of Konyahu, the son of Yahuyahim, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, made king in the land of Yahuda. But neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land did hearken unto the words of Yahuwah, which he spoke by the prophet Yeremiah, and Sidik Yahu, the king, sent eth Yahu Kal, the son of Shalem Yahu, and eth Sephin Yahu, the son of Maaseh Yahu, the priest, to the prophet El Yeremiah, saying, Pray now unto El Yahuwah Elohenu for us. Now Yeremiyahu came in and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison. Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Mitzrayim, and when the Kazdim that besieged Yerushalayim heard eth tidings of them, they departed from Yerushalayim. Then came the word of Yahuwah unto the prophet El Yeremiyahu, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, Yellow high of Yashrael. Thus shall ye say to the king of Yahuda, that sent you unto me, to inquire of me. Behold, Pharaoh's army, which is come forth to help you, shall return to Mitzrayim into their own land, and the Kazdim shall come again and fight against this city and take it, and burn it with fire. Thus says Yahuwah, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Kazdim shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For though ye had smitten the whole army of the Kazdim that fight against you, and there remained but wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent, and burn at this city with fire. And it came to pass that when the army of the Kazdim was broken up from Yerushalayim for fear of Pharaoh's army, then Yeremiah went forth out of Yerushalayim to go into the land of Binyamin to separate himself thence in the midst of the people. And when he was in the gate of Binyamin, a captain of the ward was there, whose name was Yiri Yah, the son of Shalem Yah, the son of Hanan Yahu. And he took eth Yirmiyahu, the prophet, saying, You fall away to the Kazdim. Then said Yirmiyahu, It is false. I fall not away to the Kazdim. But he hearkened not to him. So Yiri Yah took Yirmiyahu, and brought him to the princes. Wherefore the princes were wroth with Yirmiyahu and smote him, and put him in prison in the house of Yahuthanan, the scribe, for they had made that the prison. When Yirmiyahu was entered into the dungeon and into the cabins, and Yirmiyahu had remained there many days, then Sidik Yahu the king sent and took him out. And the king asked him secretly in his house and said, Is there any word from Yahuwah? And Yirmiyahu said, There is. For, said he, You shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babel. Moreover, Yirmiyahu said unto King Sidik Yahu, What have I offended against you, or against your servants, or against this people, that ye have put me in prison? Where are now your prophets which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babel shall not come against you, nor against this land? Therefore hear now, I pray you, O my lord the king, let my supplication, I pray you, be accepted before you, that you cause me not to return to the house of Yahuthnathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then... Sidki Yahu the king commanded that they should commit Eth Yirmiyahu 
into the court of the prison, and that they should give him daily a piece of bread out of the baker's street, until all the bread in the city were spent. Thus Yirmiyahu remained in the court of the prison.